Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great Ask a Ninja from a homeowner in Smyrna, Texas, and uh, apparently they decided to dig out their crawl space, sent us a picture, and wanted to know, did they remove too much soil? So let's take a look at this picture and go over a few things. Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about foundation repair, waterproofing, encapsulation, things like that. Also, if you get a chance, make sure you check out our uh, Crawl Space Repair Myths Busted book on Amazon. It's a great purchase for the DIYer or the homeowner looking to uh, fix their crawl space. Been getting some great feedback on reviews. And if you need uh, some one-on-one -on -one help, we've made it available to where you can uh, do a consultation with me. And I'll put a link to both of those down below. So basically, I get a, a one-line sentence uh, whenever I got this picture from the homeowner in Smyrna, Texas, and they said, have I removed too much dirt? All right, so one of the things I want to take a look at here is that, first of all, this is a huge footer. I mean, this footer is massive, okay? But anyway, uh, in my opinion, yes, there was too much dirt removed. Keep in mind that uh, a footer system is designed to rest against soil on both sides uh, plus have soil supporting it and even with soil surrounding a footer system on all sides the footer can still shift it could it can move and shift and different things like that there are a lot of foundation repair companies out there we do foundation repair with helical piles and push piers and all these other things to lend support especially in a in a place like texas I'm not sure about Smyrna particularly, but uh, they have some soils that tend to move a little bit easier like you would have in Delaware, for example, at Crawl Space Ninja in Delaware, or uh, on the coast where you got a lot of sand and silt and different things like that. Even clay soils can shift and move. So I would not recommend anybody dig out like uh, this homeowner has to expose the footer. I understand that you are probably wanting more room. It looks like it's a very short crawl space, uh, three blocks high, and you're probably trying to make it a little bit more accessible maybe to store things down there. But uh, I certainly wouldn't do all this to uh, potentially compromise the foundation walls. In this scenario, I would certainly recommend that you consult with a local engineer or a home inspector that maybe has an engineering background uh, if you could. But uh, one of the solutions may be to fill uh, to backfill everything with three quarter inch gravel uh, and possibly do some some foundation supports with helical piles or, or piers or things like that. Gra uh, call a foundation company and get their opinion on these things. Or if you were planning on finishing this, you could obviously uh, fill it up with gravel and pour slab and then the slab would hold that footer. But even basements uh, suffer from foundation shifting and wall shifting, bowing and different things like that. So anyway, Please don't do this. Uh, much, much excavation uh, in your crawl space. This, uh, this could be a, a huge problem for a foundation issue in the future. Hopefully that helps you out uh, in Smyrna, Texas. Appreciate you sending this uh, picture for me to take a look at. Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. If you've done this and not had any issues, or if you've done this and had issues, please uh, let us know down below in our comments. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.